everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we are going to be talking about resonance and natural frequency. Now the first quantity that we are going to need to define is the natural frequency of an object. Now every oscillating object has its own natural frequency. This is the frequency at which an object will oscillate after an initial disturbance. So for example, if I was to disturb this uh, spring system, it will oscillate at a given frequency that I can figure out with a stop clock, uh, for example, and this frequency is unique to this object. Uh, additionally, for example, if I have something like a tuning fork, I can also disturb this and uh, this tuning fork will actually be producing a sound at a very specific frequency which is known as the natural frequency of this object. Now let's have a look at what resonance is. Okay folks, now let's have a look at what are now known as forced oscillations. Now in this case we have a very very simple system in which we have a frequency generator over here which is connected to a spring which is just attached to this stand that is connected to a little vibration generator over there. Now um, anytime we have a forced oscillation we actually have a force which is applied periodically to the actual vibrating or oscillating system. Now, let's see what happens as we were to increase the frequency. So we're starting with a baseline of about 9 hertz. Now, notice that as I increase the frequency, the amplitude of oscillation is definitely increasing. And in fact, at certain frequencies, the amplitude increases quite dramatically. Now, uh, that point just about there, let's see if we can uh, come back to it is the point of uh, resonance, is the point of maximum amplitude in this system. Now, resonance occurs when the frequency of the driving frequency, in other words, the frequency of this gener generator over here, matches the natural frequency. And this is a special frequency at which the amplitude increases dramatically. Uh, we, can, uh, we can probably show this uh, a little bit more dramatically if uh, we were to uh, just increase the frequency uh, a little bit more. And uh, yeah, we can definitely see the spring vibrating with quite a drastic amplitude. Now notice that if we were to increase the frequency yet again, the amplitude actually decreases rather than increases, which is quite counter counterintuitive. So for instance, if I was to increase the frequency quite dr drastically, if I was to do that, you're going to see that the spring is just not vibrating as much. This is because the amplitude reaches a maximum at the natural frequency of the object and then gradually decreases. So once again, folks, resonance occurs when the frequency of the driving force matches the natural frequency of the object. And additionally, the natural frequency of the object is that special frequency at which an object will oscillate after an initial disturbance. Okay, folks, so hopefully that makes sense. If there are any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down below. And thank you very much for watching.